Greetings my beautiful lovelies, I am here and beautiful iconic Pike's place to eat as much as possible. So come along with me. <laughs> Greetings my beautiful lovelies and welcome to Pike's Place. So for my very first taste test, I'm going to be tasting Elenos' Greek style yogurt. This place is supposed to be amazing and have incredible yogurt. This is the strawberry shortcake. Now Greek yogurt of course is more concentrated and it's thicker and more decadent, but this is legendary. Alright, here we go. We love you. We love you so Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just got <laughs> recognized here while I'm tasting it. And this yogurt is phenomenal. So rich, so creamy, and just smooth on your tongue. But the strawberry shortcake version has a little bit of crispness on the top of it. So you got a little bit of crunch. The level of sweetness is phenomenal. Just lightly sweetened but sweetened enough to taste like dessert but not overly sweetened and cloyingly sweet delicious and i love the strawberry flavor so good mm. so good i could eat this every day mm. i really love the crunchy little crumb bits on top so good i also got another flavor and I got the lemon curd. Lemon yogurt was my favorite as a kid. It was the only flavor. Well, that and strawberry. That's why I got strawberry and lemon. But lemon was my absolute favorite. So this is the, the lemon curd flavor. Mm. So decadent and rich. Without feeling heavy. And so smooth. Mmm with a little bit of a tang from the yogurt and a bright, sunny, lemon curd flavor to it. Delicious. What I really like is that it's really nicely balanced. You taste the yogurt while tasting the lemon. It's not like the lemon is overpowering, just the beautiful yogurtness of this all. Phenomenal. Mm. Definitely stop by Eleanor's if you come to this place. Very good. Alrighty, next. Are you ready? Am I going to see that on Facebook tonight? Uh, maybe not tonight. Next oh, week. <laughs> I follow you. This is my first time having me some, so I'm excited. Oh, no. Enjoy. I right? will. I will. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah. Alrighty, my lovelies, I just stopped at Misum Bakery and look at these bao. They're enormous. So I ordered the beef curry, the barbecue, and a pineapple bao, but I accidentally got two pineapple baos. So, oh well, I don't, I think this is the regular barbecue pork, which is the chashu bao. And the chashu bao is probably the most popular or famous, but look how huge it is. Golden on the outside, brown, beautiful, squishy. Alrighty, let's give this a taste. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. mm. The buns are so big, I didn't even get any of the pork filling. So let me take another bite. Well, let me show you what it looks like inside. So this is a chashu bao. So it has barbecue pork on the inside. Mm. Totally takes me back to when I was a kid. We'd go to San Francisco and my mom would always buy chashu bao's for us, my brother and I. And the filling is barbecue pork. It has a little bit of five spice in it and it's got a chew to it, slightly sweet and has this classic red color to it. The bun itself is enriched, slightly chewy, just a little bit sweet, fabulous. I believe this bao was about $4.09, four or five dollars and in my opinion, well worth it. So stink good and they're still warm, scrumptious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Now this was my other childhood favorite, and this is what I would call the bolo bao or the pineapple bao. 
Now this actually doesn't have any pineapple in it at all. It's just the reference to this beautiful kind of cookie crumb topping on the top. But I love this one. This is a sweet version of a bao. And look at this. Look at that. Chewy. Mm. It has a great chew to it. You see that pull when I pulled the bread? And the topping on top is crisp, light, sweet. But it's really about the bread here. Chewy, freshly baked bun. Yum. <laughs> I also picked up Zhongzhi, or what we called Zhang growing up. My father's family is Taizan, so that's why we call these Zhang. But in Mandarin, these are called Zhongzhi. And these are sticky rice that are wrapped in bamboo leaves. I did a video about this. I'll put a link in the description if you want to see that video on how to make these at home. So these are wrapped in bamboo leaves and tied with string and steamed and boiled for a long, long time. These are my favorite. I'm going to be missing the hot sauce, but I love these. I bought a bunch of them because I'm going to bring them on the plane so I can have them when I go home. So here's what it looks like inside. Look at that. Can you see the peanuts in there? Yeah, boiled peanuts. Alrighty, here we go. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. I know this might be sacrilegious to say, but I think I like this even more than I like the Cheshire Bao. The rice is sticky and chewy without being mushy. The peanuts are perfectly cooked, they're not crunchy. And everything is very well seasoned. Everything is very tasty. I just got a bite of pork in that, which is salty and tender, delicious. Mmm. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So, so good. If you are at Pike's Place, definitely check out Misan Bakery. Delicious. <laughs> right in the lovely, I stopped at Piroshki Piroshki, and this is Russian pastries. Can't wait to taste these. Established 1992. My brother said they're phenomenal. Yes. Yes. You're famous. I'm not. <laughs> You're famous. I saw your videos on Facebook. Wow, yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Likewise. Hello. Hi. Well, just saying hey. Hey. <laughs> Rock on. Thanks. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. I think this is the. Uh, I think this is the beef and onion, and it looks like this. Isn't that beautiful? Here, I'll get you up close. Yeah. Beef and onion. Now, Proshki Proshki says that this is the most traditional flavor. So, got it. Now, I'm going to eat it like this. Keep my hands clean. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. <laughs> Those are decadent. Those are rich. The outside is like a puff pastry outside that's light and crunchy. Well, in the middle it's substantial. And then in the middle, ah, hi! <laughs> it's okay. And then inside is really well seasoned ground beef and onion. Mm hmm. And it's moist and juicy inside, but crispy on the outside. Very, very rich though very rich and dense so i think a little of these go a long way so with that let's taste the next one so here i've got a round one this one i think is the potato cheese look how stinking cute this is want to see this up close yo yo oops cute right so this is another classic flavor, potato and cheese. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. <gasps> this one has a completely different outside. It's a little bit more like a bagel. It's a bit softer, crisp on the outside. 
but more dense. It's not the crispy puff pastry kind of buttery texture. I think I actually prefer this. The other one's a little bit too rich for me, but nothing like carb and carb, right? Potato, bread, potato, bread, cheese. Mmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. This one's good. Mm. The flavor combination reminds me a lot of pierogies, but in the baked version. Delicious. <laughs> this one's so cute. Look. Isn't it cute? It looks like a little fish. <laughs> this is the salmon pate, and it looks like a little fish. So let me break it and open to it. Here we go. Do you see the steam coming out of that? This looks great. All right, here we go. Mmm. This is good. It's got like smoked salmon flavor to it. And it's like a pate, but more of like a cream. So it's a bit like cream cheese and smoked salmon together. A little bit of garlic. This one, this one I think is my favorite. Mm. Mm. This too has the kind of baked crust rather than the like layered puff pastry. I definitely prefer this one to the puff pastry. But this one is my favorite, so good. Mm. Mm. This too is piping hot. Mm. Ready, time to get some coffee. So I thought I'd get some coffee at, you know, the first Starbucks on the planet. But um, after seeing this line, I mean, for real. And you know, I, I don't even drink coffee after 12 because I'm on a little fart. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna skip this. I was here, close enough. All right, let's go eat some more eats. Alrighty lovelies, I'm at Beecher's Homemade Cheese and I'm going to be tasting their classic mac and cheese. Let me adjust this a little bit. Here it is and it's penne pasta. And is it cheesy? Look at this. So cheesy. Alright, let's give this a taste. Here we go. Look at that mask. No, I'm not even a big mac and cheese fan, but this is delicious. Super creamy, rich, it's got a tang to it, cheddary, and it's got a little hint of cayenne, a little spicy kick, just subtly at the very back of your throat. Delicious, creamy. The pasta is quite soft. If you like a harder pasta, then this might be a little bit different for you, but so much cheesiness. Really good. Super rich. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm gonna try the homemade cheese curds. Look at these. Cheese curds. Let me show you the. See that? Alrighty, let's give the homemade cheese curds a taste. Here we go. Mmm! Squeaky. Tangy, salty, <laughs> with a nice little tanginess to them and saltiness. The fresh milk flavor, good. Mm -hmm. Really nice milky flavor to them. A light squeak, but not so squeaky as a mozzarella. And very well seasoned, nice and salty. But if you come here, I would recommend the mac and cheese. Right in my lovely Pike's Place. Wonderful, amazing, totally up to the hype. If you ever make it here, try to eat as much as you can. Come with an empty belly and taste all the beautiful bounty that is Pike's Place. And to send things off, I'm gonna finish with a beautifully perfect local peach. Here we go, eat the hockey moss. The taste of summer. <gasps> mm. Thanks, Seattle. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for coming along. I have peach juice dripping down my wrist, as it should be, and um, I will see you in the next video.
Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.